All right, let's talk about healthcare billing, um, EOBs, we'll, we'll talk about what that means, I think, and just the whole situation that we're in. So we're part of, just to kind of set the stage here, Advent is an independent medical practice. We're part of a larger healthcare system. Most people have health insurance, and most people who have health insurance want to use that insurance, and so we have to play by the rules of the insurance game which is a crazy, crazy game. I hear a lot of comments and, and um, chatter about kind of how crazy it is. Um, why, why so crazy? Yeah, I mean, the game is, is rigged to a certain, certain extent. You know, I mean, a lot of people describe it as patients are put in the middle and don't understand the system. And sometimes, I think, from an insurer standpoint, it's purposefully done that way so they can kind of keep people not in the know and be less transparent. You know, a lot of the, the reviews that we might see online, fortunately, Advan gets a, a gazillion positive reviews. You know, mm -hmm. we do good things for patients. I think outcomes are good. The, pay, the, the reviews that we see that aren't, aren't as stellar tend to be around bills. Yep. Um, you know, and the challenge as a medical provider, like for us, is that to explain to a patient what we have to bill based on some contract and what we collect are vastly different things. Correct. Well, I guess, I mean, to boil that down, like what... So, you know, for instance, I guess a question is, is what, what does, if somebody has health insurance, what does their health insurance do? What, what's the point? Like United Healthcare, Humana, Anthem, like what do they do? Do you know? The insurance companies? Yeah, what do they, why does everybody, why does, why would you buy a policy from an insurance company? What are you actually buying when you're buying? You're buying insurance? negotiated rates that are less than what you'd pay out of pocket. Correct. So that, point number one, so you're buying into their network and they've negotiated discounted rates with their network. Correct. Have you ever bought anything on sale? <laughs> ever? <laughs> bought a shirt? Is that shirt on sale? I never pay full price. <laughs> <laughs> so you, and neither does your insurance company. <laughs> right. So how would you feel if you're paying you know, full price for everything? How would you feel if you signed up for a, a sales network? We're going to get you deals on everything, man. I'm going to sign you right. up. You like everywhere you go, you know, you get your nose taken care of, your ear, your lung, whatever you got, your kidney if you got one, you got two maybe. You're going to take care of all that stuff, and I'm going to get you a deal on everything. That's that's their, that's what the insurance care. That that's their proposition to you, and actually your employer. They're well, saying, right? and the, and they hope you never utilize it. Well, yeah, yeah, and yes and no. Yeah, they do. They they don't. Yes, I mean, in the, at the end of the day, they're going to get they're going to sell you on. We're going to get the best whatever, best stocks at the best rates kind of a thing. And so in order to get some of those deals or to make it seem like they're getting a deal, they need us to have our prices at a level where we're discounting them. Right. You know, it's sort of this, it, it's this crazy, crazy game and the numbers are crazy, but it's a game we have to play. If we want to, you know, be participants in the various insurance networks, then we've got to play that game too. And, um, and it is crazy. I mean, nobody, I will not at all ever deny the fact that the whole thing is, is insane. Uh, I didn't set it up, um, but it's, again, those are the rules that sit around us and we have to you know, abide by those rules. Right. Um, but I, I think that dynamic is just sort of, it is what it is and, and we do what we do. Um, at the end of the day, we provide care for people. So unlike insurance companies, we actually lay our hands on and are actually delivering care and we need to stand up for um, our ability to do that right. i guess is the bottom line and that's why when patients get this eob so the first time an what's eob an, what's, a, what's an eob eob is an explanation of benefit so okay. you know that's one of these things that i had never seen one of those until i came here so where i trained and then worked for a few years was with this kind of big box healthcare system called kaiser permanente but it was everything was in house so anytime I went and sought care or got some bill, it was like just it was actually a bit more transparent that way. There was no EOB that came first. Yep. Then I came, you know, moved here and, and we started having care. And the first EOB I saw, I had no idea what it was. Yep. And I'm in healthcare. Right. And I was confused. And the rates are astronomical on there. But of course, it says this is not a bill. Mm -hmm. You know. And then you get a bill later on that's dramatically less. Yep. Um, and so that's what I think is a, is a confusing point for patients is they think that. What is, shows up on your EOB is what the actual surgery costs or what the actual visit costs. Right. And it's not. No. You know, but again, it's the game that's played to show the discount. Right. Correct. And, and so with that dynamic in play, um, I mean, what, what alternatives do we have other than to, to sort of 
play by that game. I guess the alternative is for folks who don't want to use their insurance, they could always, there's certainly, there's always a, an, an alternative pathway, which is just, you know, paying a uh, cash price. The cash prices that we have, or our self-pay pricing that we have is, is not the same as what you see on an EOB. Um, we're kind of getting into the weeds a little bit here, but it, 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 the challenge is, is tr again, trying to be sensible and make sense in a system that's insane. Right. Um, at the end of the day, you know, as physicians, our duty is to provide care for our patients. And again, if, if, if patients want to want to participate in the system, then then it's up to us to figure out a way to make it happen. Um, it's challenging though because the a part of the issues we run into sometimes with insurance is that as a byproduct of those agreements that we have to make with insurance companies, it creates a level of, of non-transparency, like of we have to like have mm -hmm. all these, this, it's, just, it's just sort of a weird, weird game that we have to play. Um, but again, we, you know, we, um, you know it's, it's the world that we live in. So, right. Yeah. So to all those patients out there, like we hear you, we understand your frustration. I think it's one of these things that, um, it's not the way we want it. I think it, what's important to understand, and we mean this genuinely, is that we don't charge more than other people charge also. True. You know, so, so that evidence, you know, uh, uh, our explanation of benefits, that, that is, you know, if you had the same thing done in the office here that you had at Advent, and then you did that in a hospital, you know, at Fred or Aurora or somebody else, that EOB would be significantly higher. Yeah, or the same, I would flip it, and I would agree. I mean, they're, 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 anything you see on an EOB, that you know we charge um, is typically less than what others are charging for the same thing. So if you wanted, but you know one of the things that we are most known for are office-based procedures. If you want to have an office-based procedure done, you know for your nose or, or sinuses, you're not going to be able to get those things done in big box healthcare. No healthcare systems allow their their docs to do that in their offices, and so um, they kind of hide behind some of that stuff. We do it here uh, out of out of you know, because it's the right thing to do. I mean, we, that's why we do it, but we do it here. And, um, you know, but, but the charges that are there are no different than what they would be elsewhere. In fact, they typically would be less. Uh, and, and certainly, you know, what the insurance company is actually paying to us is definitively less than, you know, anywhere around, which is, you know, no, no doubt about that. So, yeah. So, I mean, I guess as far as trying to get any other angles on this insurance gig, I mean, it's, it's a really energizing topic. We love talking about this, uh, this insurance thing. It's my favorite thing to talk about in the world. Um, it, it's really not, um, if you didn't pick that up. But it's, it's a part of what we need to do. We need to deal with it. We need to own it. We need to acknowledge it. Um, and we do. I mean, it, it's it, the bottom line on the insurance game that we have to play is it is. It's a game. It's crazy. <clears throat> and I'm the first to admit it's, it's uh, insanity. And, um, uh, you know, all we can do is continue to try to fight forward and, and um, you know, stake out our little place in the world.